Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, it's Jake Tamper from The Lead with Jake Tamper. <laughs> oh, hi, Jake. <laughs> Thanks for calling. What's on your mind, buddy? Well, Jimmy, I'm sure you heard the news. What, what news, Jake? According to reports coming out of CNN, CNN has indefinitely suspended Chris Cuomo. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. And, Jimmy, I am currently able to say that the lead with Jake Tapper has been able to independently confirm those reports coming out of CNN. Oh, that's great. Is that so? Uh, yes. I suspected these reports were true yesterday afternoon when I heard shouting down the hall from my <laughs> office. And someone screamed, how about you suspend these fucking Stugats? <laughs> <laughs> my goodness <laughs> and the reports were ultimately confirmed when i saw an office chair being hurled up against a framed portrait of ted turner wow and jimmy if you go to cnn.com which i'm sure you do on a regular basis to get your news you will see some in-depth reporting on this news story from CNN's own in-house media analyst, Weasel Brian Stelter, <laughs> who is now basking in his secret joy to rat out one of his own colleagues <laughs> like a lizard on a sunny rock. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that Brian Seltzer, he really knows what's up. He sure does, Jimmy. <laughs> He'll say anything. He really will. Yeah. As an employee of CNN, what do you think about the situation? Well, Jimmy, as we say as journalists, I am personally a little too close to the story. I can say that Chris is not only my colleague, but my friend. <laughs> but anything further, I'm just going to have to wait and see if the suspension looks to be permanent before I will feel safe throwing him under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, of course, at this point, it's simply too early to tell. On one hand, it doesn't look good. A sitting anchor at CNN admittedly uh, admitted to openly aiding and abetting a sitting politician dealing with a scandal. Brother or no brother, that's bad juju. Especially considering that the scandal involved the sexual harassment of women. A topic that's about as radioactive as the Yucca Mountain. Yeah, I would agree to that. On the other hand, CNN is the network that hired back Jeffrey fucking Tubin, <laughs> who got caught masturbating on a Zoom call. <laughs> a Zoom call, Jimmy. He was fapping on it. Jeez. <laughs> and CNN eventually said, get back in here, dummy. True, truly astounding. I'll say so. Who knows? what CNN is capable of, or if they have any modicum of guiding ethics with which to adjudicate these situations. I, I sort of suspect they don't, Jake. But there is a larger issue at play here. What's that? Everyone here is scared shitless of Chris Cuomo. <laughs> For real? Oh, yeah. That bicep-kissing, IROC-Z-driving goomba has been terrorizing these halls for years now. Shoulder rubs for the ladies, wedgies for the fellas. Eventually, we all had to have Matt Lowerlocks installed in our Jesus. doors to keep him out. I see. <laughs> but then his brother got in trouble and everything changed. It got dark, man. We all knew he wasn't going to report on it, but he was trying to strong-arm us behind the scenes, not to ourselves. Hey, Tapper, tap! Hey, tap! He'd say, <laughs> staring me down with those cold blue eyes. You going to talk about Andy? I'd say, probably. Be a shame if something happened to your lunch in the fridge over there. <laughs> I'd hate to see somebody go take a giant ziti dump in it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My God. God is nowhere in this situation, Jimmy. I had to order out every day for lunch, and that adds up. It does. Was it just you? No. He'd say to John King, stick to your tar charts, Johnny. Just stick to your charts. You know what I'm saying. 
to Aaron Burnett. I don't want to hear nothing about my brother coming out of your pretty mouth, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> and then with Anderson, he was a little more respectful, you know, just sort of more, hey, Coop, Coop, yo, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> you see the story about a dog who can play piano? Maybe lead with that. This is worse than I thought, Jake. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a big sigh of relief around here. I'm not going to lie. Which reminds me, we got to focus on the big stories now. Working on a big one for tonight's show over at The Lead with Jake Tapper. They've detected one case of the new COVID variant on U.S. soil. One! And the symptoms are mild. Mild, Jimmy. I have to go scare some people. I have to go. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) bye, Jake. Thank you. Hey, we're doing live stand-up shows in Los Angeles, December 3rd, 10th, and 17th. Every The first three Fridays in December in Studio City at Two Roads Theater. If you're in Los Angeles area, see you there.